Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Therapy with Coraima y Antonio. Today we're going to be talking about relationships. Okay, que rollo mi raza? Que rollo, what's hey, good, what's good? We got a new one? video for you guys. And today, I wasn't playing though, we're all gonna be talking about relationships, but it's not like it's all not, serious like it's that. It's not a therapy <laughs> session, guys. It's or just, is it? Or is it? It's not. Or is it a therapy it's session? It's just, it's our therapy Con session. Doctor Antonio Garcia. Okay. okay, definitely not. All right, but you, you would not be my therapist. No, nah. <laughs> no. I am your therapist, though, okay. baby. All right, pero vamos a hablar. We're gonna be talking about pretty much things that you want to look into before jumping into a relationship. Things that we think are important to having a healthy relationship. You know, before jumping into it, obviously. Um, and yeah, I would say a lot of people message us asking about relationship advice and stuff. Pues, we can't answer everybody. So here's kind of like here's the video. Our answer. Yeah, so here's our answer to a few things, you know, that we think are important to having a healthy relationship. Right, dumbass? Yes, fucking stupid. Fuck right. off. Anyways. If I punch you. Here, let me, let me, you got something here too. Here, let me pick it up for you. Oh, you're so aggressive. <laughs> All right. So first, you want me to start you want to start? Como tú quieras. Okay. So I think it is very important when okay, you... Okay, 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 let's start. All right, number one. Go. Number one. So something I think is very important when trying to jump into a relationship, to me personally, is knowing each other's past, right? Unless, obviously, you both don't really care about it but if you guys don't care then you guys wouldn't mind i think hearing each other's past and i think this just kind of like clears up any type of like misunderstanding that you might have in the future you know what i'm saying entonces si un día escuchas like you're listening to someone kind of like gossip you know or, or tell you something about your your partner you know i feel like it would be better if you kind of already knew before that person tells you so then you don't start like kind of going all yeah. everywhere with in your head you know what i'm saying so you're kind of more at peace and also because if for if just in case you know you do tell your partner something or that person that you're trying to be with kind of something from your past and they just can't accept it then there's no reason to jump into the the future you know what i'm saying but then if uh i know i'm going hell along uh, this is going in depth but like you guys know what I'm saying though? Yeah, like, so it's better to hear it from the partner or the person you plan to be yeah. with than from other people. Yeah, and then also just because, like I said, you wouldn't want to hear from someone else during the relationship and you don't know how your partner is going to take it. And maybe it's something that they can't move past, but if you guys discuss it before the relationship, then you'll know, you know what I'm saying, before jumping into it, if it's going to work or not. So yeah, so tell Hi. each other. <laughs> So, in pocas palabras, in little, a few words, you know, este, I think it's good sharing each other's past, you know what I'm saying? Just to clear the air. Yes. Yeah. That was, hey, that was good. Huh? That was good. That, that was, was good. good first point? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, but wow. Okay. Okay. Go. Uh, Go. All right. Number two. Uh, so, I'm being a hater. Number two. Again with the hand thing. What? When you do the hand thing, no. when you, again with it, you have to go in slow motion with that shit again. Oh. Number two, be friends before getting into a relationship. Because I feel like it's easier to be in a relationship with someone you already know and you already know things like about them and how they are than if you just jump into a relationship and then you guys are just gonna argue all the time because yeah. you don't like. I think what she's saying, get to know them for a good amount of time. 
so before jumping in because if no don't, one's don't tell them what I'm saying I'm no one, saying what I want to say don't because, put words in my mouth <laughs> don't put words in my mouth this therapy session sucks because no, you listen. are no, a I'm terrible just, I'm therapist just, I'm just, I'm just you're like, putting words in my mouth I'm just trying to like make sure they understand because they don't understand obviously if they jump into a relationship they knew that person before jumping into a relationship well, that's but what, what you're saying. trying to say is I'm saying be friends to really know them as a friend like a best friend no that, did I say that? Did I, all guys, right, right, did right. I ever say be best friends with the person? No. Explain to I them. I said, I did explain. Maybe if you shut up and you let me talk, then I could explain, explain to them. Okay, go. <sighs> go, Doctora Corema. I said, Doctora be, Chavez. Be friends before getting into the relationship. I didn't say be best friends, okay, okay. be friends. Okay, be okay? friends. Just so you know how Can they are. Can you give an example of like, like hang out with them a few times be around them when you guys are alone and be around them when you guys are with friends so mm. you know how they are when you guys are alone and around other people interesting very interesting that's a very good point Karima. thank very you very good point thank you very good point all right now stop fucking interrupting me okay 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 i think no i don't think i know <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, you have to be ready to put aside. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> Hold on, let me let me look at my notes. <laughs> okay, you have to be okay with not giving other things as much attention as you used to. Hmm. Does that make sense? No. Yeah. No. It does. Well, what other things are you referring to, though? So, like, let's say you hung out with your friends very often. You know, you hung out with your your homies or your homegirls. Or, I don't know, you, I don't know, let's say, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what a therapist. <laughs> okay, but like, you know what I'm saying? There's things that you're going to be doing when you're alone that you're probably not going to be putting as much time. So, for example, and, and it might not be forever, it just might be temporary, you know what I'm saying? But because now you're going to have to be kind of giving another person attention, este, you're going to have to really like make sure that you're doing it, I guess, correctly. So there's no issues if you really care about that person. So in doing so, you might be putting other things aside. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that as long as it's healthy. And it's not like your partner telling you it's like, it's me or that. You know what I'm saying? It's just more you kind of like knowing that now you have someone that you're going to have to give attention to. And I mean, if you care about that person, then, then you'll do it and you'll make it work. So. Yes, obviously we're not saying stop hanging out with your friends. Don't put words in my mouth <laughs> that I didn't say. I said we're. Okay, shut up. You're so annoying. Okay, here's my interpretation of that. This is terrible. They're, they're, probably, <laughs> they're probably laughing right now. What kind shut of therapy up. session is this? This is a great therapy session. Maybe if you shut up and let me talk without interrupting me all the time, okay. we'd get somewhere. Okay. My interpretation of that is don't, is, don't think that we're saying stop hanging out with your friends okay like if your friends stop talking to you because you or have a boyfriend don't stop playing soccer too, or you know girlfriend that's your fault nobody told you to stop playing soccer it was a joke you wanted to stop playing soccer i didn't tell you to stop i care about you that's why i chose you i didn't choose you over soccer but well don't put words in my mouth you're all right continue but yeah don't we're not saying stop like completely hanging out with them don't like cut contact with them Obviously, you're not gonna hang out as much as you used to. You can if you take your partner along, because it's I feel like that's kind of fucked up. You're my best friend. Good. You're, you're my best friend. Because you don't have any other friends. Okay. You don't either. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. All right. Next, build trust with your partner. Stop saying you build trust with your partner. Okay? okay, because I feel like if you don't, if you go into a relationship without trust, then <laughs> yeah. if you go into a relationship without trust, then the relationship is just going to like start off bad. Yeah. So you have to be able to trust that person. Obviously not with your life at first, but like with certain things. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. I'm just with saying. Life? I don't trust you with my life. Oh yeah? <laughs> all right can i give an example to yeah. follow yours up all right so for example i think a lot of now especially nowadays uh it's very like normal 
for social media to be an issue in relationships. Not us though, you know what I'm saying, yeah, huh? Though. Yeah, this is, what, this is what brought us together. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's so normal for social media to be an issue and you hear like couples asking their, their couple or their partner for their passwords and all that stuff because they don't trust them. That's toxic and you're not ready for a relationship or to be in a relationship if you're demanding your uh, partner's like passwords and stuff because you should trust that person i mean i don't have crime i don't have any of her social medias we've been dating for over a year and we don't have each other's social medias and i know i know that if i ask him one day and i'm like hey let me get your instagram password he'll be like all right here but i don't like i don't feel the need to have it so i yeah. don't i just grab his phone yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so pretty much like if your partner wants to give you their passwords and stuff then that's a whole different story but if you're demanding your past because you don't trust them then it's just you're not ready for it and, yes. and you know what i'm saying so trust is very important in a relationship to make it work out and to make it be healthy yes i'm looking at my notes uh your mom she doesn't even message me well that's because she doesn't like you that's lie bro she looks like right she now. sent me a little heart i'll message you right now okay okay <laughs> here fine Next. Oh, it's my turn, huh? It's my yeah. turn. Right, let me message my mom. Okay. Seen other girls. No, I had to. Okay, 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 okay. Another point is that you gotta set the pettiness to the side when it comes down to a conversation. Okay? And Karim was a victim to this. <laughs> <laughs> them to anything she's still a big there's a fly oh, she, don't yeah, say oh, she's hella big come here pussy stop <laughs> come here you're stop you're the victim you're gonna I expose die. myself you're the picture <laughs> i'm not a victim okay. to anything hey you guys don't mind my shorts okay they didn't see your fit oh you didn't no all right bet, bet. Oh, fuck, bet. <laughs> you just exposed your all right <clears throat> what was it to put the pettiness aside. Oh, yeah, put your pettiness aside. Alright, so you're gonna have to. Obviously, there's gonna be arguments, but do you want those arguments to escalate? The the answer is no. You don't want those those uh, arguments to escalate. Okay, so you gotta set the pettiness aside and really have a conversation with your partner. Like, that's what's really gonna help you guys out. Hey, what? I'm trying to I'm trying to give them a fucking session. Am I therapy. interrupting you? No, I didn't say. You're anything. distracting them with your well, time. Well, the fact that you brain tails can't fucking focus it's not my fault the fact that you're so disrespectful during my conversation <laughs> with our people i don't care you know what i think it's better off if i do this therapy session myself obviously Alone. not obviously Alone. not if you were a therapist everybody would probably cry themselves we're to supposed sleep. to show them that we're a good healthy we couple. are maybe if you shut up and stop i love saying, you baby i love you i love you too okay we're back all right so <laughs> Like I said, you gotta set the pettiness aside and you really gotta learn how to communicate because if you're arguing, the last thing you wanna do is escalate it by being petty. Just listen. Did you just take a picture of me? No, <laughs> why would I want pictures of you? You're kinda ugly. Because I'm sexy as fuck. Anyways, uh, you right. don't want those arguments to escalate. Nah, you don't. So be, put your pettiness aside. Nah, yeah, don't be petty and just listen. Hear, hear the person <laughs> out, hear the points out, and then, you know, hear each other's points out. Más que todo, and then, um, <laughs> and then, uh, and then you guys can have a conversation and find the middle ground. <laughs> Stop! I'm trying what? to fucking do this. Well, then do it. They're not gonna take it serious, baby. They're not gonna take you serious. Right? They're gonna be laughing throughout this well, whole thing. Well, if they see your fit, maybe they wouldn't take you. I'm gonna take it serious if you pull them to a therapy session. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Next. Go. Next. So don't be petty and communicate. Yeah, put your ego aside. What's the ego? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what is that? <laughs> Super ego? Like the cholo? <laughs> no, oh my gosh. <laughs> this, uh, be patient. Be patient in your relationship. That's key. Be patient That's or key. be be ready to be patient since this is before relationships. Yeah. So be ready. I to wasn't be ready and I'm still not ready. Yeah, me either. I just want to beat the fuck out of my I said we do that but, right now. Nice. Beat me up. Mm. Okay. But be ready to be patient. 
because you're gonna go into a relationship so you guys are one now so you guys have to do things not <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> Oh, we are not. What, what? I'm talking about them, not us. What, what, what? I'm talking about. <laughs> We're what? Okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> you guys are gonna have. You guys are gonna be spending your lunch. I thought you were gonna hit me. <laughs> gonna hit me. Yo, run that shit back on the night. You guys are gonna have to. <laughs> Right. You guys are gonna be spending a lot of time together, so you guys have to be patient <laughs> with each other and the way that you guys are, and the way that you react to things, and the way that you guys handle things, and the way that. Did you take your shoes off? You... No, I didn't take my shoes off. Did you stay? Well, bro. maybe. If... Look at your toenails. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Right? Continue with the video. But be patient. Be ready to be patient. Why are you so close? Why are you following like... me though? No, I'm not. We're like not you. going anywhere. How am I following you? Here, now we put it to, hey guys i want you we're gonna take a small little break with you guys and what we're gonna do is we're gonna count to three and then we're gonna exhale inhale inhale <laughs> and then we're gonna exhale okay now we're gonna inhale again and then we're gonna exhale so we're gonna breathe and then we're gonna inhale but we're gonna take deep breaths okay, okay ready all right three we hold hands we hold, no, we hold hands no we don't we hold that. hands no we don't three two one deep breath. <laughs> Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> you good? Yeah. Okay, one more, one more. Come on. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. We're back. We're back, you guys. All right, we're gonna go to the next point. Okay. Um. All right. Another thing is, know and be ready. Hold on. Know that now you're gonna have to not only control your feelings, but also cater to helping out your partner and kind of catering to their feelings. You know what I'm saying? Whenever something goes wrong or doesn't go the way you guys want it to. So now you really have to put more energy into, again, listening and uh, just being there for your partner. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, just just know that you're going to have to cater to your partner's feelings and it's not just yours anymore. So it's going to take yes. more energy and you got to be ready for that. Yes. Because if you don't, then you're going to argue. Hello. And then that's not healthy for your relationship. Okay. That, that, one, that one went good. That one went good. Yeah. yeah. That was great. That was very good. Very good. Hope you guys are... are Taking notes right now. I wouldn't tell you guys. You should probably have a little notebook and just take notes of, of the <clears throat> the um the points that we're making. Yeah, yeah. It took me a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. That's all I have. Uh, yeah, be yeah. open. You know. But it, that's already you already said that one at the beginning. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so I think. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we came to the end of okay, our uh, episode session. one of Therapy with Corama and Antonio. Um, if you guys really enjoyed this and you guys would like another therapy session, please let us know in the comments down below. We'd be more than happy to help you guys out. We would. Um, we get a lot of messages, emails, text messages, um, WhatsApps. You know, we get a lot of <laughs> <laughs> we get a lot of these things and uh, people asking for relationship advice because they see that. Why do you have a WhatsApp? Huh. <laughs> Huh? What? Yeah. Um. <laughs> guys, so um, uh, we really appreciate you. We had to end it. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I hope our points helped you guys out. And um. Uh, no. <laughs> all right. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and comment on this yes. video. Make sure to hit the um, like button to yeah, lock I in. I already said that. No, no. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to lock in positive vibes and uh, that you and your partner are going to have a very healthy relationship because if you don't subscribe and you don't like, then it's not going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all guys. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's there. It was, it was serious points, but it you was know, serious, but it is serious. 
It's always been serious. It's been so serious. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Also yes. turn on your post notifications to be notified every time we upload a video. Yes. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram because we post videos daily. Yes, links will be links. down below. I will leave our links down in the description so you guys can go ahead and follow us. And All like right. always, we love you guys and we hope you have a very good night. Good evening, good morning. We love you guys. Pit check. <laughs> Pit check. <laughs> <laughs> this therapy, this is what your therapist is? This is who your therapist is? Behind the scenes. <laughs> cut! Cut! Bitch! <laughs> That's your therapist? You should be disappointed. <laughs> you, you should be disappointed. Thank you guys for tuning in. Coray My Antonio Therapy Session 101. Also, drop topics that you guys would like us to be your therapists in. Yes. We love you guys. Bye. <laughs>